name is Wodo. I live in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I create content about life in Canada. How are you guys doing? Um, I hope you're doing so well, and um, I'm excited for this new month. I just want to say um, that whatever we desire this month will come to pass. And we pray for the world to be completely healed so that we can go back to our normal lives. And I am continuing this series of the Frequently Asked Questions. I live in Winnipeg and I'll be talking about Manitoba. And uh, yeah, because I have received so many emails concerning Manitoba and I just want to clear the air concerning Manitoba and um, so that people can be aware and not send me some emails that I usually receive concerning the Manitoba Provincial Nomination Program. Manitoba has about four programs that is geared towards immigration for people outside Canada. And one of them, the major one that I would say, I would say it's the major one, although it's not major, major, but the one that a lot of people clamor for and a lot of people have been sending me emails for is the one that has to do with support, either family or friend support. And that means you need to have a sibling living in Manitoba or a first cousin living in Manitoba or a friend or a distant cousin to support your application when you create your expression of interest for um, nomination for from Manitoba. The thing is, Manitoba believes that with people having families in the province, a lot of people will stay instead of using the province as a means to gain permanent residency status and then move into bigger provinces like Toronto that did not give you provincial nomination. So that's why they are tying it to a family support. And they've studied the history over the years and seen that a lot of people who had families in a particular place preferred to stay compared to people who do not have families. That is why that um, criteria is there. So before you go ahead to start creating an expression of interest in, from Manitoba, if you do not have a family there, if you do not have a friend there, I do not encourage you to create an expression of interest because it's just a waste of time. So what a lot of people just do is go ahead to create an expression of interest and then come back to start looking for somebody to support the application, which is very, very wrong. If you have a friend, you should talk to your friend first and then confirm from the friend if the friend can support your application before you create an expression of interest. But if you do not have a friend or a family member living in Manitoba, there is no point doing that because um, it's just a waste of time. A lot of people just do it and then after a while, they don't see anybody to support the application. They, they release the whatever, they send an email to say, oh, I'm sorry, um, I cannot continue with the application, blah, 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 stuff like that. And of course, they know these things, they see these things. The immigration officers, that's the Manitoba Provincial Nomination Immigration Officers, actually see the trend. I encourage you, if you do not have anybody living in Manitoba, do not bother creating an expression of interest for Manitoba. Um, that is for the skilled workers category. For the strategic recruitment initiative, it has to do with searching for a job. And it's not you searching for the job. It's actually the other way around, where the employer um, searches for people who will come to work for them and then give these people nominations. And then um, that's when they apply under the strategic recruitment initiative. It is called strategic recruitment because uh, the employer has to liaise with the Manitoba government or the Manitoba Provincial Nomination Office and then they will conduct the interviews together before they actually give um, a letter of advice to the people who have gotten job offers under the strategic recruitment initiative. Then the third option is actually for people who are bilingual, francophone and bilingual. And if you are bilingual, they usually open the portal once in a while and give the opportunity for bilingual francophone people to apply to the province. And then once you apply and you are selected, you'll be invited to come for an exploratory visit in Manitoba. After the exploratory visit, if you like it, you have an interview with one of the provincial nominations immigration officer after the interview, um, if you're successful, you will get a code that you can use to apply for um, a nomination to come to the province 
under the francophone stream so that is the third stream and that one does not require you having a relative living in manitoba but if you have a relative living in manitoba and you're bilingual then it's also a good opportunity for you to get a provincial nomination from manitoba the third immigration pathway is the modern immigration pathway and that is for specific skills in modern they have their own website and the requirement for modern is that you must not have any relative living anywhere in canada so it is very unique they have specific occupations like welding um, the last time i saw they had early childhood educators there um, they also looked for cooks carpenters i think it's a is a community that is um, into trades heavily into trades so people who have skills like electrician plumbing welding carpentry um, early childhood educators they can actually apply to more than for a provincial nomination but the requirement is you must not have any relative living in canada and you also need to meet certain requirements before you were able to get a nomination from modern. So these are the um, pathways for uh, immigration to Manitoba. And since last year, July 2019, was the last time they actually gave nomination to people under the skilled workers program, skilled workers outside Canada program. And that's people who had relatives in Canada, uh, relatives living in Manitoba. Um, and had supported the applications of people outside Canada. July 2019 was the last time they did a draw to invite those group of people. So it's been over nine, 10 months now, and they've not done any draw to invite people from outside Canada who had family support. So when people send me emails to say, oh, please, I want, to, I want you to support my application as a friend. Since July 2019, they've not actually given um, they've not invited people with family support to send a complete application. Another thing that I would like everybody to know is this, that if you have a friend who is living in Manitoba and the friend is supporting your application, this, this cause you will have will not be enough because the scores have been high when it comes to the draw scores. Um, people who score like 550 and below, they've not been able to get a letter of advice to apply for Manitoba since 2018 February I think either February or March I can't remember the month since 2018 March was the last time there was a low score for Manitoba and that was 519 and that was when uh, the, the the very last time people who um, like had friends could get nominated after that, it's been very difficult for people who had friends to get support from Manitoba. You have to have sibling to get a support from Manitoba. And because the sibling gives you 200 points and the friends give you 50 points. So with 50 points is not enough. You need like a 200 points and above. And even as at last year, between January and July, people who had nominations were people who were living outside the city center of Winnipeg. So it will now take someone to go outside of Winnipeg to get an extra 50 points to be added before you can get a nomination or a letter of advice from Manitoba. When I attended the last um, information session, I was told that there were 25,000 applicants looking for nomination from Manitoba. And of course, once you have that number of applicants, it is highly highly competitive to get a nomination and um yeah so that is the situation as it is now we are actually hoping that they reopen it's not as if they stopped it they just paused it we're actually hoping that they start soon and start giving people with family um support um letter of advice to submit a full application from manitoba and another thing you should know is this, that for each province, they are only given 6,000 nomination certificates from the federal government because the federal government has an agreement with the province on the number of people they can bring into Canada in a year. And for each year, it's just 6,000 nomination certificates. So they actually apportion each of the certificates according to the groups or according to the immigration pathways they have. Let's say they'll say, okay, 1,000 nomination for 
um, skilled workers in Manitoba, 1,000 nominations for skilled workers overseas, 1,000 nominations for strategic recruitment initiative, uh, 1,000 nominations for entrepreneurs, 1,000 nominations for this. So they actually apportion these nominations according to the different programs that they have. And then if one program has exhausted its own nomination certificate, they cannot take from, let's say, the entrepreneur stream to give to the skilled workers overseas stream. So that is what's actually happening. And that is why since last year, July, they've not had a draw for skilled workers overseas, but they've been focusing on strategic recruitment initiative and skilled workers in Manitoba. So I have talked too much today. Um, I hope I have cleared the air concerning Manitoba provincial nomination. And please, I am I cannot perform magic. I cannot perform magic when it comes to Manitoba. And I beg you, if you don't have any relative, any sibling or a cousin or, or friend living in Manitoba, um, there is no point creating an expression of interest for Manitoba, except you are bilingual. If you're bilingual, then you wait for when the bilingual stream opens. Then if you are not bilingual and you have technical skills in welding, plumbing, carpentry, um, and also have an early childhood education um, certification or qualification, then apply for the modern immigration. That one can be beneficial to you. But any of these, if you do not have any of the other ones, like a family, then there's no point creating an expression of interest for Manitoba. So I hope I have clarified these questions. So that is the information I want to share today. Share it with your friends and families. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.